Hello, welcome back to the channel and indeed the van and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the process of how you change a wheel on a Fiat Ducato camper van. The spare wheel is located underneath the vehicle and the tool kit to remove that wheel is located underneath the passenger seat. So let's go have a look. Here we are on the passenger side of the vehicle and if we look under the passenger seat we've got this little door. If you pull it, it pops open. Does the door come out altogether? Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll look unclip the door altogether. To get the toolbox out, which is located under the seat, there's a little knob here with an arrow on it, a little dial. And if you turn that, that will unlock the tool kit and you can just lift that out then. Okay, now that the tool kit's out, we'll take it around the back of the van and see what we've got. Okay, here we go. So inside this tool kit, you've got, a, or I've got, a plastic pouch with some bits and pieces in. I'm not sure what that's for. So I'll put that to one side. We'll get that in a minute. Anybody knows what they're for, because I don't, then please share it with me and I'll share it with everyone who subscribes to my channel. You've got a toe and eye, you've got a silver bar which is used to wind the jack up and down, you've got a second silver bar which is used to loosen the wheel bolts or the wheel nuts, whichever your vehicle's got, and you've got a scissor jack which is made to take the weight of this vehicle. You've also got this black bar which is going to slot into the silver bar there and that's going to be used to wind the spare wheel down from underneath and I'll show you that in a minute and you've also got a screwdriver handle and a double-ended if I can get it out yep a double-ended screwdriver bit so that's your toolkit the jacking points on the Fiat Ducato one at the back of the vehicle on each side and one at the front of the vehicle on each side okay so I don't know whether you can see this um, well, hopefully you can I'm at the back wheel and this is the back wheel and underneath between the back of the van here and the back wheel if you look underneath you'll see this mechanism here now this is to lower your spare wheel your spare wheel is located under here as you can see if you do have a spare wheel that's where it'll be on the Fiat Ducato now to lower that spare wheel down you need to use this and you need to use the tools that you've got to and I'll show you how to put them together to wind that wheel down okay so you've got your tool kit from under the seat what you're going to need to do is lower this wheel down from underneath the van um, and you're going to do that using this and this okay first of all slot that into there and then you're going to use this to wind it anti-clockwise to lower the wheel to the ground okay now you may need to use this if it's tight but it should just unloosen by hand if it's new it will it could well be stuck in place if there's a lot of muck under there okay so we'll go try that now this can be quite daunting if it's the first time you've done it and if you're out in the dark and it's chucking it down with rain the last thing you want to be doing is trying to figure out how to do this Okay, so the handle goes in there as you can see, and then we just wind it down. Now, don't be worried when you hear that clonk. That's basically just the uh, the winch releasing its grip, so it can now lower the tyre down. And that's normal. So as we turn that, the wheel comes down. Until it reaches the ground. And then... You've got some slack there. There. Do you see that screw there? Well, that screw is holding the plate in place. So what you've got to do is loosen that screw, and it just should be just finger tight, which this one is. So you release that, take that, take that nut off. So that comes out and that releases it from the plate. Okay, this isn't easy. The wheel's heavy, you've loaded it down, you're taking all the weight of the wheel, basically. Um, now the best thing to do, because it's got to come, the centre stud has got to come out, I'll show you what I mean, but it's got to come out through the middle of the wheel, you need to hold the wheel up while you get that out. Now I've found that the only way I can do that is to prop the wheel up like that 
so if you prop it up in the air with something then you can get your hand underneath and once you can get your hand underneath it makes it that little bit easier i'll show you what i mean by that so you have to push that up through the wheel and i'll see if i can do that now and show you this bit has to push up through the center of the wheel and that's not easy and the only way to do it is to bend it on its side like that when it's sideways on I'm trying to push that spring in a little bit and there you go that goes through the center of the wheel I don't know whether you could see that there but that has now gone through the center of the wheel there so now that's released the wheel we can put that down a minute drop that wheel down and pull it out okay okay now I'll just show you this this bit here is what's holding the wheel up in the air and this whole bit here from there downwards from my fingers downwards basically is underneath the bottom of the wheel holding it up in the air so this whole bit here has to be pushed through the wheel and then you wind it back up to get it up the top there on to changing the wheel and then we'll put the this spare back on here so there's your spare wheel you can imagine it's quite a size when when you see it like that it's bigger than your average car tire so you, as you can imagine it's quite a weight and lowering that down on your own is some feat uh, but i think you'd probably need a hand to get this wheel down or you'd need something to prop it up while you've got that centerpiece through the wheel uh, but that's through now like i say there it is there and that's the piece that needs to go back through the wheel when we've changed the tire okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change one of the front wheels on my fiat decato camper van and and my van is a an eldest cv40 so what I'm going to do now is uh, loosen the wheel nuts before I get the jack underneath and jack it up. Okay, so changing this wheel is the same as changing any other car wheel. Just loosen these nuts slightly so that they, they haven't got a grip, tight grip anymore. That's because once it's jacked up in the air and you try and loosen those wheel nuts, the wheel will spin round. So loosen the wheel nuts first before you jack it up. Okay, so if they're tight and you can't loosen them with your hands, just stand on that and it, you'll find that loosens it off and the last one that's that one loose okay so they're all loose now so what we're going to do is we're going to put the jack under now and jack that up now when you're jacking these vans up you've got to make sure that there's a solid surface for the jack to stand on now I'm on tarmac today so it's a solid surface but if you're not on a solid surface find something to put underneath to to make sure the jack doesn't sink into the ground. Oh, I've just been to get a little bit of a blanket there so I'm not kneeling on the tarmac. Okay there's a little finger wheel there that you can wind up to get it started so you find the jacking point now make sure you get this jacking point in the right place get it located in the hole because you could cause damage to the underside of your van or your motorhome if it's not in the right place okay that's in the right place there now now make sure that this bit on the bottom here has got a solid hold and it's on flat ground if it's if it's not flat ground and it's not perfectly flat try and find something for it to stand on just for your own safety okay you'll find that you can turn that wheel so far and then it becomes too tight and you'll need to use this this can take quite a while I'm going to need a fortnight off work after this. Okay, now because I don't have a flat tyre, it needed to be jacked up quite a way to, to let the tyre clear the ground. 
if you did have a flat tyre, you wouldn't need to jack it up as far to get the old tyre off. But keep jacking it up, because when you go to put the new tyre on, you need that ground clearance, because you'll have a fully inflated tyre. Hopefully. Okay, so now you go ahead and remove the nuts. Now because you loosened these earlier, they should just fly out. I always like to leave the, uh, the bottom one in to last, because then that keeps the wheel in place. Three. Four. And then I put my foot up against there to make sure it doesn't fall off and release the last one. Okay, so you've got your five studs and then your wheel should just lift off and wheel out the way. Now, as you can see, it's quite it's quite a tricky task doing it on your own, especially in the dark and in the rain, I would imagine. So now that the wheel's off, as you can see there, what I'd do is wheel in the spare wheel, only I'm just going to put the same wheel back on uh, because my spare wheel is a steel wheel and this is an alloy wheel and I don't have a puncher so I'm just going to put this one straight back on but this would be the procedure now for replacing the wheel with your spare. So use your imagination people, this is me spare. Now I don't know whether you can see that but you should be able to. There's a couple of low pa locating pins, one there and one there. And those locating pins will help you guide the wheel so that it lines up with the, the studs. Okay, so these wheels are quite heavy to lift into place. So uh, you may need somebody to help you lift this into place. But I've showed you there's a couple of guiding pins there. Um, once you've got one bolt in, you can line them all up. So let's see how we get on, eh? Whew, okay, get that in, hold it in place. Now, if like me, you're used to changing car tyres, you'll find this a challenge. It weighs a ton. Get that fastened in there. Okay, once I've got a couple in place, I should hold it in place while I put the rest in. Whew. I'll tell you what, if you're used to changing car tyres, changing one of these is a challenge. Okay, so now all the nuts have been nipped up, what I plan to do is lower the jack down and then we can nip these nuts up properly. Again, I think I'll speed this up for you. Okay, once you get it so far down, you can use the turning wheel there to lower it the rest of the way. Okay, so that's back on the weight of its wheel now. I must remember to nip these nuts up nice and tight. Okay, that's the wheel back on. 
let's get the spare wheel put back underneath the van. Okay, I like to have a blanket or some kind of something to nail on anyway to make this job a little bit more comfortable because it can be quite uncomfortable nailing on the floor. I can only imagine what it's like doing this in the dark and in the rain, which is why I thought I'd run through this now for you. Um, so it might be handy for you to watch in case you ever need to do this in the future. Okay, now let's get this wheel back underneath, which again is going to be a challenge because you've got to lift the weight of the wheel and get that um, pulley system through the centre of the wheel and get it fixed in place before you can wind the wheel back up. Okay, so oh, see if we can get this done while I'm still breathing. Okay, so if you push the wheel into place. Now, I haven't rehearsed this. Whew. So, I'm doing this for the first time and you were seeing it for the first time. So let's hope it goes according to plan. It might not. And if it doesn't, somebody call me an ambulance. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's get this lifted up. We've got to feed that centre piece through there, through the centre of the wheel. Okay, so let's get that through there. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, as I thought. This is not going to be easy. And there you go. That's through, and that then goes under there. Like that. And to be honest with you, that was easier to put on than it was to get off. Now what I need to do is put this little nut back on the middle. Okay, so I'm going to now wind that spare wheel back up underneath the van, make sure that's secure. So now it's just a case of winding this back up. This is not heavy, the winch does all the work, you just need to turn the handle. And as you come to the top, the tyre will seat itself in place where it needs to be and you'll get that clonk, clonk again and that clonk, clonk and that clonk means that the, the winch is now locked into place. If I just give that a little test by pushing it with my foot, yep, that's solid. Okay, so that's the procedure. Whew, now that is more difficult than I thought it would be. Definitely more difficult than I thought it would be. I hope this has helped. I hope that now you've seen how challenging it can be uh, you'll join the A <laughs> or the RAC or Green Flag or one of those um, but if you do want to try this yourself then please by all means go ahead but I'm no expert on this by the way this is my disclaimer this is just me doing it for myself uh, you can follow what I've done and it may help you in some way but you don't necessarily have to do it my way okay so it's the next morning now I'd just like to thank you for watching if you are still here to the end I know it's uh, quite quite a straightforward procedure and I'm not trying to teach anybody how to suck eggs, okay? Um, if I'm sure that uh, everyone out there knows how to change a wheel. I just never changed one on my camper van and I thought I'd rather familiarise myself with the procedure now before I have to do it on a dark, windy, rainy night, okay? So I'm hoping this has been helped to somebody else um, because it's certainly been helpful to me to go through the procedure realize how challenging it can be to get that wheel off from underneath the van and uh, get it replaced on on the vehicle itself especially as i say if it's dark and raining it's it's not a very pleasant task so if this video has helped you in any way then please do give me a thumbs up um do consider subscribing that will help my channel grow and it really will be appreciated so see you all in the next video thank you bye bye